Salute, people of the internet, and the ones who watch my videos. A boy, no it. Uh, salute a boy, assassino. Assassini. I mean, welcome, assassins. So you say, uh, salute a boy. It's the only Italian accent good. Or, or is it good? Salute a boy! But that doesn't sound as cool. Um, so guys, how's it going? And welcome to more daily vlogs. I haven't done daily vlogs in a long time. I'm trying to stay out of the light, because I just tried this a minute ago, and I accidentally threw my phone. Phone? It's not even a phone, it's an iPod, but I threw it against the ground. Sorry. Um, look behind me. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. Right. For Assassin's Creed 3 at 4. Sorry, I keep forgetting what one it is, because they bring out one every year. They spent more time on their games, I mean, they're probably better, I mean, you know. If they spent more time on Assassin's Creed 3, it could have been better. Fuck! Sorry, um, Assassin's Creed 3 it was not the greatest of Assassin's Creed's, like, in my opinion. I've just got to, like, put it out there, it was not, in, in my opinion, the best was AC2, uh, then Brotherhood, then AC1, then Revelations, I don't know. Um, I feel like to be a fan, you can't say AC1 is the least favourite, but you know what it fucking is. I would play Revelations over AC1 any day. I don't like how that game is designed. I don't, know how, I don't like the mission structure, how it's so repetitive. To be honest, I don't like the... It's, it, the combat is okay. It's, um... It's, it's alright. It makes... It gives you... Gives you blah, blah, blah. It's good. Uh, points for, like, people who aren't very, like, good at the game. It can be too hard. But then for pros, it's too... It's too easy. It doesn't give you a challenge. Because all you have to do is smash the fucking X button. And you win. Um, and which, that is the joke, Ubisoft. That is the joke that so many Assassin's Creed pe people don't like the game. That's the joke that is made that you can bash X to win, and that's what you need to change because really you need to make the control scheme more, more, more. I don't want to say challenging, but you know, more. You know, make it, make it, make it develop, develop it rather than using the same thing over and over again. Like you know, counter combo attack. Because if you wanted to, you could just smash the X button and win. It's Although in AC3 that's not really the case, but I didn't like the, the I don't know what it was, the combat system and everything about AC3 felt wrong. It was just, I'm not too sure actually, it was, the story was shit in my opinion. Like Desmond's story, absolutely brilliant, you nailed it like you always do. For Connor, it it didn't, I didn't want to play as Connor, I didn't like him, I preferred Haytham. If I'm honest, the first five memory sequences of that game were the best, Three first three were Haytham, the next two were, um... Child Connor and Teenage Connor, I like those. It, it gave you the sense of progression and the sense of, uh, you know, I'm doing something to progress with the game. When you started playing as normal Connor, there was no, like, why was I still playing it at that point? To find out what happened to Desmond. That's why I was playing it. Not because I cared anything about Connor. I didn't give a shit about him. Like, I did for the first two memories because you played him. I thought, oh no, he's lost his, like, his family. Let's go and get Charles Lee. And then, like, um, when you played him as a teenager, you needed to find, like, Achilles. And it that was great. And then... You played as him, and it was just, hey, you're just gonna have and you get Charles Lee, and you're just gonna blah, 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 and just, that was it, and it was just, there was no story to it, it was just you going around killing people, at least Ezio had a reason for it, and I know people, you shouldn't compare Connor to Ezio, but Ezio was so much more charismatic, even Altair, he was much, much, much more of a better character, like, than Connor was, I just thought Connor was really bad, also guys, what I want you to do is, I'm gonna give you a shout here, a shout out, shout out. The vlog will continue after the shout out. Basically, there's this guy, he's, he's a good friend of mine, his name's Harry Alderman on YouTube. Go and check him out, he makes uh, music, like guitar stuff. Um, he's, like, you should go and you should go check him out. Um, here's his channel here. It's ju He just created it uh, yesterday. Here it is, he has 8 subscribers. Oh, wait, I think it was yesterday, I don't know. Um, no, he's, he, well, he's had it for a long time, he only started uploading yesterday, so he's got 8 subscribers on it, guys. If you could go over and check him out and subscribe, that'd be absolutely amazing. I'm going to try and get him to 50 subscribers. That'd be, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. So, um, I'm going to stop now. Uh, so basically, yeah, so the, the, I don't remember what it's called, the uh, amazing edition that cost £110 for Assassin's Creed 4, but that's what I'm getting because I waste my money on video games. Um, UB Shop, I'm going to have a look for it. Uh... I think it's like the Buccaneer edition, or maybe that's the cheaper one, the one that's a little bit cheaper. I think it's about sixty pounds, like the the cheaper cheap. Like, like there's a normal edition, there's a special edition, then there's a black, um, not black flag edition. That's what it's called, the black flag. No, wait, black, 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 something. I don't know, but uh, there's there's the uh, the uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, the Assassin's Creed um, far. Black Skull Edition is what I think it's or is it Skull Edition? I don't remember. Uh, Assassin's Creed 
for? Black Chest Edition. That's what it is. Yeah, £110 for Xbox 360. That's a lot of money. Oh no, I thought it was £110. For PC, it's £110. For Xbox, it's £119. That's nine more pounds than I wanted to spend. Um, <laughs> not that I want to spend £110, but well, I kind of do. Look, this is where you get in it. Look, just look. I don't know if you can even see that. There? Can you see that? You get loads of awesome stuff. You get, um, hang on, I'll have a look. You get, you get, I'll read to you what you get. Um, well, obviously you get, um, physical content. You get a 55 centimeter high diorama, uh, what? Diorama, it's like a little thing, like, like that. One of Connor up there. It's kind of like that. Uh, only it's of Edward Kenway. Leading the charge on his ship, the Jackdaw. You get a steel book, you get the collector's box, you get a high quality art book, including artworks that, that inspired the game. The official soundtrack, which is what you got with Revelations. You didn't get a fucking soundtrack for Ashley 3, did you? No. You got that. You got that. And this. Not that. This. Uh, not that. This. This nice little box here, which looked fucking bigger. Like, seriously, look. Look at that box, okay? That's in comparison to my hand. Yeah? Yeah? That's in my hand in comparison to my face. That's, like, that's how wide it is. The side, like, that's how wide it is, okay? That, yeah. I like that. Uh, you got this with it as well. It's got secret pages in it. How do you access the secret pages? I don't know. Ubisoft, tell me. Because I don't know what's going down. And the map I didn't actually get with that, no. I don't think what else I got. Wait, was that seriously it? The rest was like in-game content. That is shit. I spent seventy pounds on that. Uh, no wonder this one costs more because you get tons more. Like, like you get actually tons more. It's ridiculous. I'm going to show you the uh, Freedom Edition, and um, you could just tell me what you think of uh, the box and how misleading that looks, because it's ridiculously misleading. Like seriously, hang on, let me type it in. Freedom Edition AC3. Uh, Right, okay. Here it is. Look, and you can see, okay, it's not stretched because they, they everything looks in proportion. Can you see how wide it looks there? Look. That's ridiculous. It looks so much wider in that picture, like a bigger box. But it's not that big at all. It's not. It's really not. So I want to get... Yeah, so let me carry on uh, reading these out. Hang on. Uh, the soundtrack of the games, you got one of those revelations. A world map, pirates used to navigate throughout the world's most treacherous waters. Two lithographs to protect an envelope. Oh, wait, what the fuck did I do with my version? With my of those from this game? Oh, it's in the box. Um, uh, the jackdaw, the jackdaw's black flag embroidered with the assassin's crest. Two canvas prints. You get so much. But then you also get in-game content. You get three additional solo missions for an extra 45 minutes of gameplay. Um, Black Island, Hidden Mystery, and Sacrifice Secrets. You then get additional single-player and multiplayer items. Captain Kenway's Legacy, Pride of the West Indies, Trove of Mystery, and the Castaway's Prize. So, it's just all round amazing. Just gonna be so good. I cannot wait for this. It's gonna... Oh, I actually... You know what? Yesterday I was thinking, I'm not that excited for this game. I wish I was more excited. But you know what? I am... Freaking excited for this game now. Now I've just actually looked at everything. This game's gonna be so amazing compared to AC3. Like the mess that that game fucking was. It looks like they got a game and shoved random shit in it, and it was like, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't AC2 standard at all. The first five memory sequences were. The rest wasn't. It didn't. Ma it didn't. Didn't match up to that at all. <sighs> oh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you probably should because I tweet. Really weird things. So the other day, basically, I was like, I was ill and I just didn't know what to do. So I just, I just, probably one of the worst decisions of my life. I decided to watch, um, you know, like kids TV, like Nickelodeon, Disney Channel stuff like. That. I don't, I don't like Disney Channel. That's really bad. Like, at least Nickelodeon makes it seem like the it's real. Like Disney Channel's like, hey, look at this. Look how perfect everything is. It's ridiculous, but you know, and, and Nickelodeon can sometimes be funny. I mean, Drake and Josh, that was, oh, that, oh, that was such a good, such a good program. I love that so much. Um, but yeah, I decided to watch, um, it's so hot in here now I think about it. Holy fucking God. This chocolate is melting on my external hard drive. Oh, help me out. Oh, fuck. I don't, um, wow. Um, so yeah, actually, I'm going to go check something. Burb. Actually, you're coming with me. I want to check something. I'm taking the heat and I'm fucking boiling. No, it's not. 
It's just the sun. Brighter than the sun. Um, yeah. So I started watching um, Nickelodeon. And what was on is a show called Victorious. And I was like, hmm, that sounds shit. So I watched it. And it's actually not that bad. I think, um, like, kids' TV, like, kids' TV has seriously improved. Like, I mean, Nickelodeon was probably always the best. As I say again, Drake and Josh, love that. But, um, yeah, I watched it. It was, it was, it was alright. And, yeah, um, Ariana Grande's in it, so, um, it's always good. Um, if you don't know who that is, look her up now. And uh, post in the comments saying, tuna. So, uh, basically, uh, that's what's happened. I'm going to read comments. Not on camera though. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you this. This guy called Irish Gamer. If you don't really know, my grandma's been in hospital uh, with pneumonia for the past few few days or something like that. She's be she's getting much better now. So thanks, by the way, for all you guys showing support. Like, oh, I hope she gets better. Um, hope she's alright. Stuff like that. That is that is so nice. It means 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 um means a lot to me. And um, this guy, okay. Like, seriously, spamming someone's channel with your videos is bad enough. Spamming someone's inbox with your videos is worse. Spamming someone and then saying, um, I really hope your grand gets better. Could you check out my channel? That takes the fucking piss. Do you know, like, how pissed I was when someone did that? And basically, he was like, and basically what I did was I was pissed off. So, I post the, uh, t the, t the message he sent me. I put, I put it on Twitter. Um, <laughs> and he got, um... In the first two minutes of you posting that tweet, I got like seven dislikes on my vids. Fuck you. Fuck you. That is hilarious. I'm so... <laughs> you guys are like the best. <laughs> You're just beasts. <laughs> it's so amazing. And I guess you don't care. Fuck him. You know what? Fuck him. You know what? Blocked. Just completely blocked. No. I don't care. I really don't care. That is just... That just takes the absolute piss. I'm having none of it. He said he's a fan of me. I fucking doubt that. He's not at all. He's an arsehole. And, uh, yeah, so this is his name, by the way. I'm trying to draw his name. His name is Irish Gamer HDD. Go and dislike his videos, please, and send him hate. That would be the best thing ever. He's an arsehole. Um, time to ruin his, uh, his, uh, YouTube channel, I think. That's what spamming gets you. Gets you haters, not, not, not likers. Nope, haters. Um, so that's it for this video, guys, and I think I'm gonna um, like leave it here, and I'll and I'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.